Hey, and welcome to video number two, which is planning and customer analysis. Now, this specific video is meant for you to get in the mindset of your customer, what their needs are and what their frustrations are, what makes them happy, and just get yourself in their shoes. And I don't want to make this too complicated, so don't think too hard. And as I'm going through here, I recommend that you pause this video take out a piece of paper and start jotting questions down. So the goal of this is to create questions that are floating inside of your customers' heads. Now, most of you probably already have a lot of this stuff since you've already created the product. You should have done this already, and this is kind of a refresher. So create questions that are floating in your customer's head, that questions that need to be answered. Otherwise, they might get lost. And the beta testing and all that will help you get more questions. The more questions that you have, the better. Because you can create videos on these questions. So customer analysis. What makes your customer tick? What you can do is you can find similar products. You can go where your customers hang out. Understand them. Go to forums, go on Facebook. Facebook has a lot of different little niches that you can go into. Uh, for example, the, you could go to Facebook and type in a specific keyword. And there's a big possibility that you will find a group of people that hang out on Facebook and they talk about that specific topic. So go to Facebook. I found Facebook works really well. I like it. Forums are great. Uh, social networks for that niche are really good. So go there first, understand how they tick, what they look like as well. Because if you can see what they look like, it's just easier to create the video training series. Because I know for a fact, behind a computer, you're talking to the computer and I'm doing that now. But I know what kind of people that I'm talking to, so that just makes it a lot easier for you as well. So that's kind of a little trick right there. What do they complain about? People complain. It's fine. People that complain are actually good because it actually helps you improve your product. What do they desire? What makes them happy? So let's look at the customer problems and needs. Like who is your customer? What do they look like? What are the demographics? So you could go, for example, go to quantcast.com. If your demographics, let's say, is a specific person, a female, male, a certain degree in college and this and that, just put a face to that name so that you can see it better. Who is your customer? What do they look like? What is their problem? And how does your product solve their problems or their needs or the de desires? And if you understand that, then creating a video support center, you can meet all of those needs, not just the how to, but if you meet those needs and even if the, you're solving the problem, let's say you're, you've created a software product and that software product already solves their need and you really don't feel like it's really needed, go ahead and create a video on that and emphasize that your product solves this specific need by doing this specific thing. If you can do that, it'll actually help you build a relationship with your customer. Roadblocks. The biggest roadblock that I have found and you've probably found as a product owner is that most people do not use your products simply because they have roadblocks in their life, they're going through financial stuff, they feel like they don't have enough time, and this and that. You cannot force people to use your product. So if somebody does not use your product, then do not feel like you have failed. But you can nudge them to use your product. What are your customers, or why are your customers not achieving the success with your product? Now, it's a desire as a product owner that our customers will use our products, and that's what we want. But why are your customers not achieving 
success with your product. Uh, for example, if you're there, let's say they're not using the product, why are they not using your product? What is their roadblock? And if it's a, it's a roadblock that you can simply nudge them and encourage them along the way, then you can help them out. If, in fact, if you can get people over that roadblock and encourage and motivate them to use your product, they will actually thank you later. Why are they not using it? What are resources that you can provide to help them use it? Can you provide checklists? some sort of accountability that might not take a huge amount of time, but like forums, can they, you could provide a blog, can you provide a training center? Like what can you provide in addition to the support training center? Can you provide coaching upgrades where you charge people, but you coach them along the way through the process? And you can even do that with a video support center too. With checklists, you can create a video that has checklists. You can send out reminders to these people. Have you done such and such, you know, or coaching upgrades. You could even create a coaching, like semi-coaching is not really that personable, but you can create a coaching video, you know, a couple videos coaching the people what exactly do they need to do. If you can understand their roadblocks, then you can understand how to get them past those roadblocks so that they can take action steps, which is really what you want them to do. You want them to use your product, so you need to provide you know, customer action steps. Like what are they trying to achieve with your product? Are they trying to use your software product? Let's say for example, you have a software product that helps people increase, you know, speed up the process of their, some sort of marketing strategy. Like if they're trying to do that and they've used the product and they're frustrated, they know how to use a product, but they just really don't know how to use it effectively, then that's where stage number three will come in. But I want you to write this down so that you make sure that you have every little question covered. So what are they trying to achieve? How does your product solve their problem? So I hope that you're writing stuff down right now or at least getting an idea of the questions that you need to answer. So how does your product solve their problem? And what you're trying to do here is in the in the, the second third video is to figure out holes uh, that these questions do not answer. So what do they need to do to solve this problem? What do they need to do to take action? So this would be stage number one. For example, what do they need to do first to actually use your product first before they need to use your product? What do they need to do to prepare? What do they need to do? So they need to prepare, they need to use your product, they need to use your product and then do something, whatever that something might be. Then do they need to use your product consistently to achieve results? Do they need to use your product, you know, monthly, weekly, daily, and so forth? You need to specify that. And you need to figure out a way to follow up with them so that they can achieve those results. And you can do all of this through a video training center. So I hope that video helped. It's don't think too hard, like I said earlier, just look at the questions, create a list of questions, and then get them answered. So now I wanna talk about beta testing. 